shim. It'll still work. Right? Because I can shim it. No. There's no step on it. Oh, okay. There's a washer there. This is just a washer. Well, here's the code. I put this together with uh, the wizards. <clears throat> uh, <laughs> bit of a challenge. Start going loopy when you get to the uh, last couple there. But uh, anyway, they're, they're facing cuts. I've got video of the parts being cut so you can see the sequence of it running. Uh, but I thought I'd show you the uh, tool path. That looks kind of cool. Um, and... That's kind of what we ended up with. There's some more on the floor here and stuff like that. And there's the end result. So when you look at it close, it's like, yeah, there's... There's some marring, a little chatter, because I used a cutoff tool uh, for the whole thing. But, you know, there's spacers that are going to hold the pulleys on the uh, DSM grinder so they are more than good enough you know cosmetically they don't have to be uh, near this pretty so that's uh, that took several hours uh, it took way way longer to write the code um, than it did to turn these out for each uh, two and a half inch long uh, blank that we cut out of the tubing uh, I got six of these. So uh, there was a waste. You know, this this was our, sac our our waste, the scrap at the end. We just decided that it was just faster and easier to do it this way than to try to squeeze out any more, you know, with any other technique and that stuff, you know, because that's a, it was, it was uh, 35 bucks for a uh, eight foot piece of this aluminum tubing. So there's other video. Uh, manually faced it on one side, drilled it out, and then put it on the CNC lathe to uh, uh, do the other spacers and stuff like that. So, so the DSM grinders are 99% done now, at least for me. Um, Steve's still got a whole lot of work to do, putting them all together and stuff like that. So um, I'll have him pick that up when he uh, gets back over here.